Something on your mind? Has anyone ever told you how handsome you Not are? Not unless they were asking me for a favor. Well, there was that one time in Denerim, but those women were <laughs> not like you. Why? Is this your way of telling me you think I'm handsome? My lips are sealed. Oh, I get it. I'll get it out of you yet. So, is this the part where I get to say the same? That would be nice. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll think about it then. Sometime soon, I'm sure. Okay. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. What? Let me guess, you're an idiot. Uh, what's on your mind? I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? Yes. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek. Oh. Which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Wait! Huh? So, you're not just a bastard, you're a royal bastard. Ha! Yes, I guess it does at that. I should use that line more often. <laughs> I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, you're a possible inconvenient. threat to Kaylin's rule, and so they kept me secret. No, oh. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. I think I understand. I think I understand. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. Yeah. Are you sure you're not hiding anything Besides else? my unholy love of fine cheeses and a minor obsession with my hair, no, that's it. Just the prince thing. Hmm. You're a prince? Somehow, I find that very thrilling. Oh, did I just find the one damn decent thing about my birthright? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> I have no illusions about my status, however. It's always been made very clear that I'm a commoner, and now a Grey Warden, and in no way in line for the throne. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. You can never be nobody. You know, I'm gonna mess with him, as you command, my prince. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. <laughs> well, when you put two jokesters in the same room... You know... Maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Go for Chances it. are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. Of course. You have a friend outside of the Grey Warden. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. Oh. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But after I became a great warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. Wow. That's wonderful news. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that Maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. If you want to, we could try. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well... It's worth a look. Yeah. Oh. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? I'm on important business. I need to sorry, see Arl Eamon. The Arl? Then you, you... you don't know. Has nobody out there heard? What are you talking about? Heard what? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting. And dying. 
Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. Morgan, We've no helpful. army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. No Arl? What happened to Arl Eamon? What is going on? He's deathly ill. And we don't even know if he's still alive. We haven't heard from the castle in days. I that's should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Here we are. We're in Redcliffe. It's I'm Thomas, starving. yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not, not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan, though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes, though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. So, you are a Grey Warden as well? Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. You might have known my father, Taryn Kuzland. Ah, yes, that's it, exactly. A pleasure to meet you indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. Yes. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. I can help you drive them back. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Morgan. Thank you. Thank you. This nice. means more to me than you can guess. I'll just give Thomas, a please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. I'm on my way. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Okay, we're speed running this. Castle. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. Excuse you? Uh, and why would you think that? For more reasons than you care to hear, I bet. Still, there's no reason to think Ban Tegan's lost his mind. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Okay. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Well, aren't you a ray of sunshine? Have faith, good man. We will defeat this evil together. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. How is morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. It would help if we had decent equipment. There weren't enough swords in Owen's shop, and the men's armor is nearly falling off. I don't think we're in any shape to fight. We'll do our best, of course, but, well, I have my doubts. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Is there anything else you need? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. I hate this game. I can't get up the freaking stairs! Hello? Knock on the door. Lock picking. Pick the lock on the door. Break open the lock. Now we can go inside. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. 
we'll go where we like, unless you'd like to stop us. Uh, no, I apologize. I don't mean any Apology harm. accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. Murdoch says he needs you for the militia. So what? You're recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Can't I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. Um... You... No. Um... I'll put in a good word for you with Ban Tegan and the Arl. And what good would that do me? The Arl's probably dead. I couldn't care less what Tegan thinks of me. What else you got? Um... I don't want to do that one. You and I... Uh, you go, and I don't cut off your head. How about that? So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so badly. Thank you. Don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this because of you. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. Um, is this it? Yes. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Is this all in the blacksmith? I need to speak huh? with you. Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. I prefer not to speak through a door. Can I come in? Mm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. Okay. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> so I'll let you Hello, in. Stare. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Alyssa, a Grey Warden helping Van Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Why have you locked yourself away in the smithy? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. So you intend to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? I intend to try. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her, provided any of us live through the night. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. Morgan! I want a promise. <laughs> Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise you I'll find her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Morgan. And I suppose there's no we'll point in me sitting around, is or there? something like that. Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murdoch will be pleased. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Of course Morgan disapproves. She disapproves of everything I do. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantig and the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. Oh, we're not only ready, Murdoch. We're going to win. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk, but we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. He dies, by the way. Every time I try this quest, he dies. How's morale? The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Dwin's presence makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. Can we go up here? We can. Oh, there's a, there's a door. Okay. Can I go in? Can I go in? Of course. Hello? Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. No. If you came here for a drink, you'll have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. So how's business, Ben? What business? 
Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a... greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... I could talk to Lloyd about no, this. No, no. That'll just make things worse. And that's very sweet, but I'll be fine. How about a raise, then? I'd like that. And maybe we could talk after the battle tonight. Shouldn't you be helping defend the village? Why? When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. Yeah, you're a coward. Uh, either die fighting the militia or die now, your choice. But Van Tegan said we didn't have to. He said, he said, ah, fine, fine, I'll go. Yeah, he said you But all of this to. better be here I when I get do. back. I don't want a place drunk out from under me. Blasted bloody. Hmm. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. I can see what I can Otherwise, do. I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. Let us pray. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. I cannot stand by while monsters attack the helpless. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Sir Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures. A shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. That's true. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. But if they think it helps them... I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I'm honestly kind of horrified. I'm like actually terrified. Not really, but kind of. I hate this part of the game because I can't save everyone. And I love to save everyone. It's a thing. Get to your positions. Make ready. I mean, you can. It's just I'm not good at it, so. Okay, honestly, I can't tell if that's a cloud of dust or like poison or stink or whatever. Le Leilana disapproved. Morgan likes whatever the frick I did. Okay, we gotta get in there. Yes, we can get past the barricade. I don't understand. And so loud. Yeah, they got that guy. Yeah, they got that guy. The monsters are attacking from the lake! They're attacking the barricades! We need help! Of course. Knights, stay here. Guard the path. Come on! We need to hurry! Let's go! Yeah. Into battle! <laughs> Who just died? Did the mayor just die? Lloyd died, yay. That's good. Murdoch. Murdoch did die. Oh, Murdoch died. Wait. Who's Murdoch? I feel like that was the mayor. I could be wrong. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Alistair. I, cause I know how to use you. All the, are, all, almost all of the men are dead. Oh, Morgan's down. Thank you, Alistair, for being competent. Dawn arrives and we survive okay. the night. Petite, we are victorious. Yeah, Murdoch's dead. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. There is still so much more to do, Van Tegan. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. 
Long may you know the peace of his love. So let it be. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Okay, now let's see if anything's changed up here now that he's dead. Mwahahaha. <laughs> oh. Too bad what happened to Lloyd. Couldn't have happened to a nicer fellow. No, it couldn't have. I guess that makes it my turn now, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. And that's thanks to you, Warden. I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. It's good to see you too. Hello, Bentiga. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. That is true. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Okay. Maker's breath. Egan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolt. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... Need you to return with me, Tika. Alone. That sounds suspicious. Careful, this could be an ambush. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tika? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Oh. Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances. Please, Lady Azold, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tegan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Why won't he leave? Why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Hmm. Not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. Came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? Enough questions. We need to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker. This seems like a trap. Bless you, Tigan. Bless you. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Okay. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. I wonder who built this tunnel, and why. Well, all right. Get away from me. In we go. As you desire. <laughs> Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? You. Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? You're the one who poisoned the Jarl. I'm not proud Arl? of it. The Arlesser had no idea what I was hired to do when she took me in to tutor Connor. like it's Skyrim. I, I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. Why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. Of course. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica. Uh-huh. A blood mage. Yeah, we've been there, don't You? That. A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. <laughs> a blood mage? Well, that isn't good. No, it's not. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. 
But why did the Aralesa need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show signs. Mm. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. veil. With the veil to the fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. To think the Dreadwolf created the veil, like, just... My mind is blown. I see. I think I understand. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. No. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd hmm. say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? I agree with Lilana. Like Liliana? yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give yes. me a chance, please. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. That's commendable, if true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? You come with me, that's what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. Beggars can't be choosers. Come or stay here. Then help. Just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Alistair, no! I had to! I think that everyone does deserve a second chance, and I think she believes that 100%. I want to check all the rooms. Well, all right. Oh, come on. Hey, okay, I up. just hold up. I just thought that someone could be in here. Oh, and now all we got is a codex entry. Yay! Well, all right. Oh, Valena. <gasps> Please don't hurt me. Calm down. I'm not going to hurt I... you. I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My, my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. Is she? All right. What happened to everyone? Valena, the smith's daughter. You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There's a tunnel leading out in the dungeon. But, but the monsters! I've killed most of them. It's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't want to do this, but we got it. Yes, I know it's over there, but I'm going up here. Oh, you're kidding. I'm joking. Yeah, if we get up here, what if we just... Do my thing. Oh, uh, Alistair is dead. Of course he is. Leilana's dead. Of course she is. The Revenant is so hard to beat. Oh my gosh, I'm on my own. I'm on my own. Run, 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 run. Oh. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Morgan and them didn't even make a dent. If I can just keep it up, then I can I can do this. I can do this. Okay. This should be way easier. I feel very accomplished though. I, I do have to say that. I do feel very accomplished. Just because I was able to take down the remnant, basically, by myself. So, oh, oh, that's not what I expected to find. What in the world is this? This is so creepy. Oh. So creepy. 
Why am I hunched? So these Probably are Probably to items. mimic my posture. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. Hmm. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. A human. This... This is a woman, Connor. Just as I am. You lie. This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age and pretty. Oh! I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Oh! Connor, I beg you. That's insane, actually. Don't hurt what? anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thanks, not so like a kid. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore that? me. Grey Warden. If I if I touch it, it's gonna be Please don't me out. hurt my son. He <laughs> is like not responsible out. for what he does. This is you see? This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now she'll repay me. Where is yeah! the village? Oh it's oh, oh. Um attack. We're attacking. No, I go after the archers. Always after the archers. Always after the archers. Because they can attack you from afar while everyone else attacks from the front. You want to get the ones that attack you from afar because then you're just getting extra hits. No, Another battle I see. We won. Tegan. Oh, Tegan. Are you alright? I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. That's good. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I'm not about to kill a child. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! Dang. I didn't! I didn't summon any demon! I told you! Please, if you'll let me help. We don't want your help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? What are our options? I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy, demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. I agree. Connor is my nephew. But... He is also possessed by a demon. Death would be... No. Merciful. No. There is another option, though I loathe offering it. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt, and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have... No. Blood magic. No, we're not using that. Blood magic is forbidden, it's not an option. There's, there's a way. Uh, I must know it. Please, tell us what you mean, Jawan. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's no. life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, We fact. are not killing someone. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? No. Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have no, said you anything. Shouldn't have. It's not much of an option. It's not an option. The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my no. blood. I will be the sacrifice. No! Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Yes, I agree. Two wrongs. Don't make a no, right. No, they don't. It does seem no. like a sensible choice. With a willing participant. We're not doing Connor it. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. No. It, uh, it's up to you, my friend. There must be another way to enter the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. 
The Circle Tower is not far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the Mage's help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. I'll take that chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Of course. To the tower we go! After I grab whatever is here. Let's go to the Circle of Magi now.